Hey guys, I'm That Fat Guy. Welcome back to my channel and my weight loss journey. I hope you're all doing this well. I thought I'd bring you a little bit of an update video as uh, let you know what's going on in my life outside of my weigh-ins and my live streams because I know not everyone can make the live streams. So um, yeah, it's important to keep these updates a rolling. So today is Sunday when I'm starting to film this first day of August and it's still Groundhog Day. Uh, I refer to lockdown, like full Sydney lockdown down as Groundhog Day because it just seems to be you smack that alarm that same song song is going off again and it's very much like rinse and repeat kind of stuff um yeah I don't foresee I, I, I don't see this lockdown going anytime soon I reckon it's going to be well like mid-September late September even spilling over into October until we get some like real proper like like rollbacks like yeah, back to where it was before this lockdown. Uh, so I feel like I'm spending so much time in this room. Like this is my um, where I do my work. Um, so I got my work lap laptop right here. It's hooked up to the monitors, and um, yeah, this is where I do my day to day work. That's it's still on June. I just realised that calendar. <laughs> I don't even look at it. There you go. Um, I, I spent a bit of time and cleaned up in here because it was getting a bit messy because, you know, when you spend the whole day in here, you know, you put stuff places and, yeah, so I made sure I had a bit of a clean yesterday. And um, yesterday as well, we had uh, that chocolate fondue that I was speaking about on uh, the Way in Wednesday video. Uh, Angela got sent this uh, beautiful, big chocolate fondue kit from uh, her sister-in-law, um because of, you know, she's in Victoria. She's like, oh, I'm sorry about the lockdown. It sucks. But here you have some chocolate. Uh, and we did. We uh, cracked that open. Um, it was beautiful. Like, it had some like, honeycomb, Turkish delight, chocolate fudge, and all these other, you know, beautiful things that dip in chocolate. And I enjoyed it. And it's so weird that we feel the need to celebrate stuff. Well, I mean, you know, ugh. Yeah, I don't know. It's just society how it is. Like you know, you giving food, giving treats, giving that kind of stuff to uh, that you know stuff that isn't necessarily good for you is seen a way of you know celebrating or giving gifts. And um, I thought, well, I had my really good way in where I'm now in double digits, and I did have my celebration meal on Wednesday. I still wanted to partake in this because, you know, for me, I, it's about my teaching myself that lifestyle balance. So I didn't go too crazy and thinking, oh, no, I shouldn't do this because it's going to affect my next week's weigh-in. I look back and think I've lost 61 kilos. One little treat of chocolate fondue is not going to kill me. So I partook in that and how it affects my weigh-in, we'll see. We'll see. But I'm keeping to the plan otherwise. Um, I'm really been getting into the jogging, uh, the, which is quite surprising. Because uh, the other night uh, I had some dinner and I was feeling like really kind of just tired and just, yeah, it was really cold. And I said to Angela, I'm just going to go for, for a walk. I'm probably not going to get all my steps in. I think this is Friday night. And uh, anyway, I got like five minutes into the walk and just this like sudden urge came over me to start jogging. I'm like, what is this like urge? And then I, I jogged for probably about half an hour and uh, it helped me get my steps in. I, I wasn't going to get my steps in. Like if I did the same amount of time walking, I would have finished with about 8,000 steps. But, uh, I finished with like 11 to 12,000 steps of the day. So. That was a little win, and I don't know whether it's a change in mentality. I don't know whether that's my body getting used to the whole, you know, um, increase of exercise thing. But uh, that was nice to see. It was it was pretty nice to see. Uh, otherwise, you know, I'm just sitting back here with a, a coffee. It is um, around midday. I need to go out and get some uh, steps soon. But um, yeah, just enjoying this um, slow weekend <laughs> at home, doing nothing. As you can see, I've got in the full COVID, COVID style beard. Uh, I'm not gonna take my beanie off because I got like mad beanie hair, but like everything's going re like getting really long. Um, it's not because I, I I don't I I have clippers, I have everything I have to trim this, but I just can't be bothered. <laughs> to be completely honest, I just can't be bothered. <laughs> and uh, oh, I got a letter in the mail. I'm I've been selected for jury duty um in mid-august now i don't know how jury duty is going to work during lockdown and that but it's a two-week trial i've never done jury duty before um <laughs> duty <laughs> but, yeah, like 
Yeah, that came out of the blue. Two weeks. God. Um, so we're going to see how that works. Um, yeah, I've never done it before. If you guys have done jury duty before, put it down in the comments. Let me know what to expect. Like, what do you do? Anyway, guys. Um, yeah, that's enough of an update for today. Um, I'll probably upload this on Monday. But uh, Man Talk will be uh, tonight on at 8 30 on the manshake facebook page link down in the description and then the replay of man talk will be on tuesday uh and then the next episode of fat chat will be the following monday uh that is with tim, tim and megan sayer i'm um, really excited like i had a really good chat with them i'm really excited to get that video out there uh because they've got a really good story to tell Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it at that for today. Thank you so much for tuning in to this uh, quick update. Um, there's not a lot of production value in it, but uh, I love every single one of you. There's nothing you can do about it. I'll see you all tomorrow. Don't forget to hit that like button.